Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam, and today we will learn how to write ultrasound reports regarding C-section evaluation cases. The reports will include the indication, findings, and impression. Our first example is about a normal cesarean section scar evaluation. This is the indication. History of prior lower segment cesarean section. Routine evaluation of scar integrity. Exam type. Transvaginal pelvic ultrasound. These are the findings of the uterus. Its size is written first. Normal size. 8.9 into 4.7 into 4.3 centimeters. Antiverted. Then you can write about the myometrial appearance. Myometrial echo texture is homogeneous throughout. Endometrial stripe measures 6 mm. Normal appearance for cycle phase. Lower uterine segment visualized clearly in sagittal and transverse planes. Then you can focus on the appearance of the caesarean scar, if noted during the scan. You can mention the echogenicity of the scar, which can be either hypoechoic or echogenic depending on the age of the scar. Early scars usually appear hypoechoic and older scars appear echogenic. Scar seen as a subtle hypoechoic or echogenic linear area in the anterior lower uterine segment. No defect, niche, or outpouching identified. Residual myometrial thickness, RMT, 6.2 mm, symmetric and intact. No fluid collections or abnormal vascularity observed. No signs of dehiscence, thinning, or hematoma. Finally, you can write about the ovaries. In this case, they are normal in size and appearance. Right ovary measures 3.1 into 2.3 into 2.1 centimeters. Normal follicular pattern. Left ovary is also normal. No adnexal masses or free pelvic fluid. Here is the impression of the report. Normal appearance of caesarean section scar in the anterior lower uterine segment. Residual myometrial thickness of 6.2 mm, reassuring for structural integrity. No evidence of niche, scar dehiscence, or abnormal findings. Routine follow-up as clinically indicated. This is a report regarding a case of caesarean scar niche. A complication of a C-section. The image on the left shows a normal scar. It is just for comparison. The image on the right shows a cesarean scar niche. Indication. History of cesarean delivery. Evaluation for cesarean scar defect or niche into menstrual spotting. These are the findings of the uterus. Normal size. Antiverted. Myometrium appears normal except at the lower uterine segment. Endometrial stripe measures 6.1 mm. After this, you can write the features of the caesarean scar niche. A hypoechoic triangular defect is seen in the anterior lower uterine segment at the presumed site of prior caesarean section. The niche measures approximately 4.1 mm in depth and 3.9 mm in width. Residual myometrial thickness overlying the defect is 2.2 mm. Small amount of anechoic fluid noted within the niche. No signs of disruption, hematoma, or abnormal vascularity on color Doppler. Then you can write about the ovaries. In this case, they are normal. This is the impression, caesarean scar niche, also called an isthmocele, identified in the anterior lower uterine segment, measuring 4.1 mm in depth, with an RMT of 2.2 mm. Small amount of fluid within the niche, commonly seen in association with postmenstrual spotting. Findings may correlate with patient's history of abnormal bleeding. Recommend clinical correlation and gynecologic consultation.
Here's another example report of a cesarean scar niche. Exam type. Transvaginal and transabdominal pelvic ultrasound. Indication. History of previous cesarean delivery. Evaluation of uterine scar integrity. These are the findings of the uterus. Antiverted. Normal in size. Myometrial echo texture is homogeneous. Endometrial stripe is thin and regular, measuring 4.8 millimeters. Lower uterine segment visualized in sagittal and transverse planes. These are the findings of the caesarean scar niche, a hypoechoic triangular defect noted in the anterior lower uterine segment, consistent with a prior caesarean scar. Niche measures approximately 3.5 millimeters in depth and 1.2 millimeters in width. Residual myometrial thickness over the scar, 2.8 millimeters. No signs of dehiscence, hematoma, or fluid collection noted. No abnormal vascularity on color Doppler imaging. The ovaries are normal. Here is the impression. Findings consistent with previous lower segment cesarean section scar. Residual myometrial thickness over scar measures 2.8 millimeters within a borderline range. Clinical correlation and obstetric consultation recommended. No evidence of scar dehiscence or abnormal fluid collections. This is a report regarding bladder flap hematoma, an uncommon C-section complication. Indication. Postoperative evaluation following recent cesarean section, concern for hematoma. These are the findings in the uterus, enlarged postpartum uterus, measuring approximately 13 into 7.2 into 6 centimeters. Myometrium demonstrates heterogeneous echo texture, consistent with postpartum changes. Endometrial cavity is empty, with minimal fluid. No retained products of conception visualized. Lower uterine segment is thickened. A hypoechoic collection is noted anterior to the lower uterine segment between the uterus and the posterior bladder wall. A well-defined heterogeneous hypoechoic collection measuring 4.5 into 3.0 into 2.8 centimeters identified in the potential space between the anterior lower uterine segment and the posterior aspect of the bladder. No internal vascular flow noted within the collection on color Doppler imaging. Appearance is consistent with a bladder flap hematoma. Bladder is distended at time of imaging. This is the impression. Bladder flap hematoma measuring 4.5 centimeters in greatest dimension located between the anterior lower uterine segment and the bladder. Findings consistent with postoperative complication following cesarean section. No signs of active bleeding or abscess formation at this time. Recommend clinical correlation and follow-up imaging as indicated to assess for resolution or progression. This is a report of a cesarean scar pregnancy. Indication. Positive pregnancy test. History of prior cesarean section. First trimester bleeding. Rule out abnormal implantation. Findings. Uterus is normal in size, antiverted. Cervical canal is closed. A gestational sac is visualized in the anterior lower uterine segment embedded at the site of the previous cesarean section scar. SAC measures 13.5 millimeters in mean diameter, corresponding to approximately five weeks and five days gestation. A yolk sac is present. No fetal pole or cardiac activity is visualized at this time. Gestational sac is seen implanted within the myometrium at the anterior lower uterine segment at the site of the prior cesarean scar. SAC is surrounded by thin myometrium anteriorly, overlying myometrial thickness, measures approximately 2.1 millimeters. Color Doppler demonstrates increased peripheral vascularity with a ring of fire appearance around the SAC. No free fluid noted in the cul-de-sac.
The ovaries are normal. Here is the impression. Cesarean scar pregnancy. Gestational sac implanted within the anterior lower uterine segment at the site of a previous cesarean scar. Yolk sac present. No fetal pole or cardiac activity observed at this gestational age. Thin, overlying myometrium and increased paratrophoblastic vascularity support diagnosis. High risk for uterine rupture and hemorrhage. Urgent gynecologic consultation recommended to discuss management options, including medical versus surgical intervention. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more imaging videos.